Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. In this frame, there is a vertical member AB, horizontal member BC, and an inclined member CD. In AB and CD, there is no load. In BC, we have a point load 20 kN. It is acting in the center. In the joint B, we have a nodal point load 16 kN. It is acting towards the right side. Since this load is acting towards the right side, the sway will occur towards the right side. Height of AB is given as 5 meter. Length of BC is given as 4 meter. Using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find length of CD root of 2 square plus 5 square. We will get root of 29 meter. Now let us find the fixed end moments. We know that in AB and in CD there is no load. So the fixed end moments M of AB, M of BA. M of CD and M of DC will be 0. In BC, we have a point load in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. For M of BC, we will get minus 10 and for M of CB, we will get positive 10. Now let us draw the deformed shape of the frame. This frame will deform in this shape. Now we can connect the point A and this point by a line. This point and this point. And finally this point and the point D. From the joint C we can make a horizontal line and then a vertical line. And then we can connect the joint C and this point. So that we will get a triangle. We know that this horizontal distance is a delta. Let us keep the vertical distance as a delta V and the inclined distance as a delta I. We have to find a delta I and a delta V in terms of delta. This angle is 90 degree. So this angle and this angle will be same. If this angle is theta, this angle also will be theta. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to 2 upon 5. We will get 0 0.4. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to delta V upon delta. Already we know the value of tan theta 0 0.4. Let us apply that. So finally we will get the relation delta V is equal to 0 0.4 delta. One more time let us take this triangle. Now let us find cos theta. Cos theta will be equal to 5 upon root 29. In this triangle let us find cos theta that will be equal to delta upon delta i. We know the value of cos theta 5 upon root 29. Let us apply that. From this we will get the relation delta i is equal to root 29 by 5 delta. For the vertical member AB we have to consider this displacement which is delta. For the horizontal member BC, we have to consider this displacement which is 0 0.4 delta. For the inclined member CD, we have to consider this displacement which is root 29 upon 5 delta. Now let us start making the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the vertical member AB. Since this vertical member is subjected to sway delta with the slope deflection equations, we have to add the sway moments 6 Ea delta upon L square. Since the sway occurs towards the right side, 
the subway movements will be negative both of the fixed end movements are zero length of ab is 5 let us apply that in the point a there is a fixed support we know that in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta a will become zero finally in the vertical member a b we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the horizontal member bc we know that this member also has the displacement this displacement can be taken as the sinking of the supports we know that if the sinking of the support occurs on the right side the sinking movements will be negative we know that the sinking occurs downwards but here the displacement occurs upwards in this case the sinking movements should be taken as positive we know that for the horizontal member bc the displacement is 0.4 delta so instead of delta we have to apply 0.4 delta let us apply the fixed end movements minus 10 and positive 10 length of bc is 4 let us apply that finally in the member bc we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the inclined member cd since it is subjected to sway with the equations we have to add the sway movements we know that the sway occurs towards the right side so the sway movements will be negative also we know that for the member cd the displacement is root of 29 delta upon 5 so instead of delta we have to apply that length of cd is root 29 let us apply that both of the fixed end movements are zero in the point d there is a fixed support so theta d will be zero finally in cd we have made two equations now let us make the joint equilibrium equations in the joint b when we add mba and mbc it will be zero for mba and mbc we have made the slope deflection equations let us apply both of them after adding them we will get this equation we have to always keep the numerical on the right side let us keep this equation as number seven similarly in the joint d when we add mcb and mcd it will be zero let us apply the expressions for mcb and mcd finally we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number eight we need one more equation let us make that now let us take the vertical member a b and find the horizontal reaction h a in this process we have to assume that the movements m a b and m b a are acting in the clockwise direction by taking movement about b we can find HA which is equal to MAB plus MBA upon 5. Now let us take the inclined member CD and find the reaction RD. Here also we have to assume that the movements MTC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction. By taking movement about C we can find RD which is mcd plus mtc upon root 29 now in the frame let us extend the lines a b and c d up to a point where both of them meet let us name the meeting point as o we need to find the distance o a for the distance of 2 meter the height is 5 meter so for 2 it is 5 but I need the height at the distance of 6 meter. So we have to multiply with the 6. When we do that, we will get 15. So OA is 15 meter. To find this distance, we have to subtract 5 by 15. When we do that, we will get 10 meter. Also, we need to find the distance OD. For the distance of 2 meter, the inclined length is root 29 so for 2 it is root 29 
but I need the inclined length at the distance of 6 meter. So we have to multiply with the 6. When we do that, we will get to OD, which is 3 root 29 meter. Now let us take movement about to O. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 15. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 10. This point load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. For this load we have to take this perpendicular distance. We know that this distance is 2 meter. MAB and MDC are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. RD is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3 root 29. After simplifying, we will get this equation for HA and RD. We can apply these expressions. After simplifying, we will get this equation. For our own comfort, we can change the signs on both the sides. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, we can apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. After simplifying, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now we have three equations, the 7th one, 8th one and 9th one. Now we can use a calculator and solve these three equations. If you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator, see the description below, there is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we will get Mab. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 2, we will get Mba. When we apply the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 3, we are getting Mbc. When we apply the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta, in the equation number 4, we will get MCB. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5, we will get MCD. And finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 6, we will get MDC. In this analysis, we have found all of the movements for MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC. We have got negative values. That means all of them are acting in the anticlockwise direction. For MBC and MCB, we have got positive values. That means both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. Previously for HA and RD, we have made these expressions. Now using them, we can find these two reactions. For HA and RD, we will get negative values. That means the assumed directions are incorrect. HA will be acting towards the left side and RD will be acting in this direction. We can find the horizontal reaction in the point D by subtracting this from 16 we will get 12.88 kN. It also will be acting towards the left side. Now let us take the horizontal member VC and find the reactions VB and VC. By taking movement about C, we can find VB. Then by subtracting VB by 20, we will get VC. Then we can find the bending movement under the point load. We will get 14.11 kN meter. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Alternatively, we can draw the bending moment diagram by denoting the values in each of the points. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.